We talk a lot about AI or generative AI, how to make sure that we use these technologies that are at the leading edge to try and deliver benefit. My name is Alberto Prado. I lead digital and partnerships for Unilever's R&D organization. And in that role, I drive the digital transformation of R&D. Technology is progressing and maturing at a speed that is faster than ever before. It's the ability for us human beings to come to terms with how to best use it. It's the human aspect. Uh, it's the how to best take advantage of the technology to deliver ultimately the value that we intend to. The value that we're expecting to get out of these investments that we're making are probably can be categorized into, you know, to be more productive as an organization, to do things better, faster, more efficiently, but also to uh, boost our discovery power, you know, to be able to get to scientific discoveries that are bigger, that are more relevant uh, in, a, in a faster way as well. Fostering a culture of innovation um, and sustainability in an organization like Unilever is critical. So for us, uh, it is very important how we measure, track and verify the choices that we make around uh, sustainability. You know, regulatory frameworks are changing very fast. They're very different country by country. So there's a whole amount of complexity out there. Start embedding those choices as early in the, in the, in the innovation process as possible and doing it by design, we call it uh, sustainability and, and compliance, regulatory compliance by design, allows us to reduce waste and complexity further downstream and be much more targeted and effective. Partners are essential if you want to compete and succeed in your transformation. Digital tools are becoming prevalent across all R&D. So we use a lot of uh, virtual simulations, we optimize uh, a lot using machine learning models to help us almost go seamlessly from the point where we know what we need to build to actually start building it uh, at a global scale. It helps us be much more effective at allocating uh, R&D resources as well because we know that we can be more targeted in our approach. You know, it becomes more a more data-driven model of understanding what is it that we should be working on. The challenges are, are significant, but obviously the opportunities are even more. The intersection between life science and digital I believe is going to be the source of you know, the next generation of groundbreaking breakthrough innovations that are going to come.